This is Dr. Amna here. Uh, I am doing MD in Dermatology from Dow University of Health Sciences. I had polio when I was six months old. Uh, was too small to remember anything. Just remember what I was told that I had fever for one night and I was the victim of polio. Uh, my parents took me to every possible doctor uh, of, at that time and uh, they were told that surgery should be delayed until I grow up. Uh, meanwhile, I started my studies. Um, uh, went school to and college like normal children uh, did. Uh, I was uh, a girl of very strong willpower. Uh, I always uh, saw my mother uh, to be uh, very uh, sensitive about me. Uh, she cared for my future. She was worried. I often saw her crying for me. And at that at that time, I decided and I promised with myself that I should do something which uh, should uh, make her proud one day. So uh, I st started studying hard, uh, was topper in college so that I could get admission in med school. Even at, at that time, uh, I was told that I couldn't do that uh, med school. I was not able to uh, continue this profession due to my disability. Uh, I was so uh, stressed and so uh, ragged and uh, so broken that uh, mentally as well as uh, emotionally, because uh, I was struggling to get the uh, admission in med school and despite of having good marks, I was told that I can't do that. So it was a very uh, difficult time for me, very uh, stressful condition. Uh, but uh, having a supportive, encouraging family was uh, a blessing for me. Uh, they helped me, they bucked me up and uh, they supported me at every step that uh, I would be uh, able to uh, continue the studies. Uh, after trials of so many days, uh, I was allowed uh, to continue my med school uh, studies. Uh, I, and now I had two challenges. One of the med school studies and other I had to prove that I can do it. I, it was a great challenge for me mentally and uh, physically. Being uh, disabled uh, physically is not that much uh, challenging, but the thing is uh, people's behavior and environment which uh, you are going through uh, is the challenging thing uh, being affected uh, by the polio. And uh, as a uh, member, as a, a citizen of Pakistan, as a, a person living in Pakistan, uh, we had, uh, I had different uh, problems face uh, during my studies, during my uh, career building. But I was uh, of the thing that uh, I had to do it. I had to do it by any means. Being physically disabled by polio, uh, today I am here to advocate uh, for the community of uh, polio people who uh, had suffered and uh, who are new cases and who are going to face the difficulties. Uh, I am here to uh, advocate for the facilities of rehabilitation and a community building for them so that uh, what problems I faced, uh, they should not face and uh, they should have a platform by which uh, they can communicate and uh, their life should be eased and uh, certain uh, gadgets and certain things should be uh, placed in the uh, public places so that uh, the hurdles I face, uh, they should not face. I can be a strong leader for my community to that uh, so that it will be uh, easier to assess differing needs of the younger polio survivors in Pakistan. Being physically disabled and uh, living in a country like Pakistan where uh, uh, new cases are being reported every year like new 13 cases are uh, reported this year as well. Uh, I see that uh, people who are going through these sufferings, who are facing the hardships and people who are ultimately going to face the hardship, there should be a fac uh, facility for rehabilitation and there should be a community built up to uh, uh, give them uh, easy assess so that the post polio syndrome can be uh, avoided as much as we can. Being here uh, attending this conference indirectly, it's my pleasure and I would love to have different ideas to build a community here in Pakistan for polio survivors so that uh, their hardships could be lessened and uh, they are eased. Thank you. Hello. 
This is me, Dr. Rabia, Community Development Officer at National Institute of Child Health, Karachi, Pakistan. Relating to the story of Dr. Amna Sarwar, I would want to thank Dr. Kate Armstrong and her organization, Caring and Living as Neighbors. Kate has been helping Pakistan in significant approaches towards health systems, like advocacy for health, strategy building, community development, and capacity building. I'm very hopeful to receive substantial knowledge from this conference through Dr. Kate Armstrong and would implement the same in our country, Pakistan.